What's the crack, lads? Welcome to our V3.4 review. We've taken our time. We've played dozens and dozens of matches with free players, meta sweaty teams, Division 1 gameplay, Road to Glory. We've tried all the new cards with all the new content. And I'm going to give you what I like, what I don't like, and what needs to be changed. Let me know your thoughts after the video in the comments below. Let's crack on with some beastly gameplay and some not so beastly gameplay. All right, boys, so we're going to kick off with things that need fixing in V3.4. It's going to be primarily a video with all clips online because offline is going to be a separate video because it's such a different experience. Now, I feel that I get very frustrated a lot of the time when the game becomes chaos and when the AI start doing things that you don't really want them to do. You see the shoulder charge there from Patrick Vieira. I am literally not doing anything. I'm holding matchup with Makalele. It switches to Vieira and the AI decides to do a shoulder charge, which goes unpunished. This is coupled with the fact that interceptions and passing lanes being clogged up are at an all time high with V3.4, which takes from the flow of the game, especially when you're defending. I don't want the AI to defend for me, boys. If you're playing against a top level opponent that can read your play, it's going to be a difficult match and rightfully so. These guys that you play that are top, you know, skilled are able to understand the mechanics of the game. They cut angles. But I feel like that even cutting angles now at this stage in the game, there's a lot of collisions, a lot of messiness with the ball. Like you'll see here, it's not just complaining or, you know, being a crybaby about it when it goes against you. It's also when it goes for you. That looks like a clean foul there. It looks like a clean foul. And what I mean by a clean foul is that it's a foul, but the ref doesn't call it. So he, he thinks that it's like a clean interception. It's not, it's a foul, man. And in my opinion, that should be blown and I shouldn't have scored from there. Again, passing lanes. It feels like you've got way less time on the ball. The aggressiveness of the AI when you don't have the ball. It doesn't matter what skill level your opponent is. I've played Division 4 guys, Division 3 guys, and top 50 guys in the world, right? The, the, the aggressiveness is all the same with the AI. The positioning is, is, is ridiculous. Now, you will see how hard I have to work here and how many instances in one game, in one passage of play that we are going to get the ball, either hitting an opponent or else just not getting a clean chance. We get a good chance here with Collar. Watch how aggressive his AI is here. He's not holding matchup. He's not holding anything. He's literally just moving his left stick. You can say good defending. I can say good defending, but it is very aggressive. It's very, very aggressive that you just can't turn the AI. I honestly feel like that the defending just needs to be nerfed down about 10, 15%. We also get another interception there. Interceptions are a part and parcel of football, lads, okay? I get that, but I feel like that there should be more of a fluidity there, that if somebody is leaving gaps, that it's not just a case of being, you know, able to stick in your leg or stick out your leg. Again, you get an interception here. We're trying to curl it around. It's not a goalkeeper. It's the AI. You will say, yeah, but he's controlling him, but he's not controlling him. He's just holding a matchup, which I do as well. It's not just me saying like, oh, I'm the only one in the, in the world that defends manually. But this is a prime example of it. I'm running here with Vinny. I absolutely rinse him with Rudiger. I turn back in across and Messi is there with the AI. He switches last second. Messi has already made the tackle from the AI by holding the matchup. And this repeats itself. You can see this time and time again. That's not to mention the fr frustration of actually winning a tackle cleanly with manual defending and getting punished for it. Now, this is obviously an anomaly. This is not happening all the time, but I feel like it's important to kind of show it. Same with heavy touches. Doesn't happen all the time, but I will touch on it a little bit more against uh, the offline clips that I'm going to be doing on this. But yeah, it's all about interceptions and being caught on the counter-attack or not being caught on the counter-attack. You'll see this, this, this period here, right? I pass a first-time pass with Roberto Carlos with his right foot. You'll say, okay, he's left-footed. I pass a left football with lovely power. His defender is literally intercepting that, turning 180, sticking his left leg out like the exorcist. And then I like the manual defending here as well, which looks very, very nice with the flow. Talking about things that have improved, I feel like this is obviously going to be dependent on what you enjoy with the game. Now, I feel like the flow of the game, even mentioning all these issues, the flow of the game, the dribbling in the game, and holding possession and being able to entice opponents in, and just being able to get past them with the dribbling, I feel like that's where the skill gap comes. Even though I don't finish this, it's a beautiful chance creation. Again, with Ribery, absolutely skin him, little fake, little on run, switch over, Roberto Cardis, he tries to foul me, I'm going to pass it back into Ribery, turn with Guti, switch it around, his AI can't get back to me, a little ball in, and it's a lovely back heel in okay so a lot of the time that you're going to see these chance creations it's going to be a lot of kind of you taking into effect 
the fact that the AI is so aggressive and keeping things moving. A lovely banger of a goal there with Odegaard. And this translates to co-op as well. Watch this goal in co-op, man, right? Now, this is from V3.3 before the update, okay? Watch the fluidity here when we get into an attacking area. Beautiful pass, beautiful pass, little, lovely little double-touch ball roll, and it's in the back of the net. Again, this is another example here of where I think they've kind of lost and added too much aggression with the AI, that the defenders are just doing too much for your opponent. Now, I do like the dribbling in this game, and I think that if you can't dribble in this game, it's a case of just learning what works for you, learning what dribblers to use, and again, left stick dribbling. It doesn't have to be flashy or fancy. You'll see that simple goal there with Salah, back of the net with left stick dribbling and a lovely fine finish. Again, I also do like, I must give him praise for the manual goalkeeping and the responsiveness in defense. This is a skill level issue, man. If you are not used to playing with manual, def or manual defending or manual goalkeeping, it can add so much to your game, right? If you can learn it. You can literally save yourself. It's super responsive, um, you know, with it, with the game now with V3.4. You'll see a chance go in there with a lovely corner uh, cross, and that's very, very nice as well. And I do also like the responsiveness, as I mentioned, with the goalkeepers, but also with the defenders. A lovely manual defensive break out there, little pass, and then we're going to get a counter-attack going again. Again, I'm trying to break here. I intercept it, lovely little ball through into a really dangerous area out wide to Gundo. Gundo's going to cut inside. It's good manually defending from him, but I take him on and we nearly score an absolute banger. I feel like the freedom of the game is a lot better that way. But let me know what you guys think and we will do another video soon. All right, lads, so we're going to give our final thoughts just to wrap this video up on V3.4. We've talked shooting, passing, dribbling, the defensive aggressiveness and the defensive AI. We've also talked about the content. The good, the bad, and the ugly with this game, man. I like the content. I like the free players they've been dropping. I like the events they've been doing. I do really like the, the chance creation, the dribbling, the responsiveness of the players. I think that's actually a highlight with V3.4. You can kind of spray the ball around. The problem occurs, really, as you start to play the game more and more. And as you guys know, and if you're new here and you don't know, go back and check out my live streams. I have played about 40 to 50 games mostly against Div 1 and Div 2 players with free-to-play squads or unbelievably, like, beastly meta squads, right? And I feel like at this moment in time with V3.4, like, there's never been a bigger gap between offline and kind of like, you know, Division 6, 5, 4 compared to Division 1 and 2. It's so, so, so overwhelmingly aggressive online once you start to go up the divisions now because the AI is doing so much for you. The AI is actually defending and holding positions. But not only that, they're blocking the passing lanes, which is changing the flow of the game, right? I love to dribble. I love to dribble, man. I would rather score a beautiful goal than score five tap-ins. That's just my style. That's just the way I want to play this game. And it's my fault if that results in me not getting wins, which I'm okay with. But the game becomes a bit frustrating sometimes, and I don't know what you guys think, and I'm eager to hear your thoughts. The game becomes a bit frustrating sometimes when that you can completely control the flow of the game, completely control the chance creation, completely nullify your opponent, and have 60 or 70% possession, and still get done by three quick passes in succession for a chance on goal, okay? I just feel that, that like they need to tone down the defensive AI a little bit. It's like a rave inside in the box at the moment, man. There's literally bodies everywhere. You turn left, you bump into somebody. You kick it with your right foot, it bounces off a player. There's so much stuff happening and so much collisions happening inside in the box that it just becomes crazy in there, right? It comes carnage, really, and chaos. So, yeah, I feel like that there's still a long way to go at V3.4. I like when you have the ball attacking. The defensive aggressiveness at the moment is a huge thing. And the passing lanes, man. The passing is way too slow. For the speed of the overall game and the speed of the defenders which we covered, the AI react way too quick and close down space way too quick while the ball is in flight. And you will see this mostly when you actually play against a really good opponent in Div 2 or Div 1. And I'm not saying that, that in a, like an elitist way that's like, oh, you have to be Div 1 or Div 2 to really see this game at, at its core. But it just becomes even more overwhelmingly suffocating once you know you're playing against a guy that is staying narrow, not letting gaps be created, and letting the AI hold position for him, right? And everyone does it when you're up at that level. So let me know your thoughts, lads, right? There's a lot to like about it. I like the direction that they're going in with the actual chance creation, the possession. There is a lot. The shooting is very, very slick. The, the responsiveness of the defenders is really, really slick. 
But yeah, let me know your thoughts as well, lads. I will be back very, very soon. Yeah, that's it for me. I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts. Peace.